What's going on guys, Aussie here, and welcome back to a brand new video. So as you see on the screen right now, 87 overall Kondogbia centre-back card. But before we get into it, I want to say a big thank you to my guy Ian for allowing me to hop onto his account and obviously use this card. But if you guys got any shapeshifter cards that I haven't re I haven't actually done yet, please hit me up on Twitter. If you obviously allow me to hop onto your account and review them, please hit me up on Twitter, also on MF on Twitter, or if you can't find it, link will be in the description. But let's get straight into these games. 78 pace, 82 dribbling, 78 shooting, 85 defending, 93 physical, and 81 passing. Them start to look insane. He's six foot two, so he is a perfect centre back height. He's medium high, perfect centre back work rate, left footed, four star skill moves as a centre back. Now, I I'm not the kind of person to be doing skill moves with my centre backs, but hey, we're going to give it a go today. Now, the two star weak foot, I hate centre backs that has two star weak foot because they're so inconsistent at switching the ball with that weaker foot, so that might be a bit of an issue. Now, he has got a shadow chemistry star on him. He is obviously on 10 chem. 88 acceleration. Insane acceleration. He's got 92 sprint speed. This guy is super, super fast for a centre-back. Rapid, if you want to call it. He's got 82 attacking positioning, 73 finishing, 91 shot power, 85 long shots, 66 volleys, and 48 penalties. <laughs> that penalties are not looking as great, as I'll tell you that. But if it does bounce to him on the edge of the box... Yeah, I'll bang it. Why not? But he's actually going to be playing a centre-back role. So I highly doubt it's going to bounce to him. He has got 84 vision, 88 short passing, 84 long passing, 66 curve, 69 crossing and 59 free kick accuracy. One thing I can say is that his passing is going to be insane. Like the threaded, I wouldn't say the threaded through balls, but I'll say just the passes into the midfield, the RBAs and stuff like that should be all good. The switch off play should be nice as well. Now, he's got 75 agility, 68 balance, 86 reactions, 85 ball control, 82 dribbling, and 87 composure. Looking at the dribbling stats, I, I think to myself, like, in a way, he he doesn't feel, he's not going to feel as bad as Sol Campbell. That's 100%. He's going to feel a bit better, and hopefully that ball control does improve that agility by a little bit. But I'm not expecting him to feel anything close to, like, I don't know, Neymar or Messi, if you know what I mean. He's got 95 interceptions, uh, 86 heading accuracy, 93 defensive awareness, 92 standing tackle, and 99 sliding tackle. His defending, his defending stats look insane. Literally look out of this world. When he puts in a tackle, he is going to get the ball probably 9 times out of 10. The interceptions is also crazy. He's got a 6 foot 2 reach, so he will be intercepting the ball fairly easily. I don't know, man. His defensive awareness as well is just insane. The way he's going to man mark and cut passing lanes at the same time. I'm hoping that's going to be beautiful. Now, yeah, he's got 82 jumping, which means he will be winning headers anyway because he is 6 foot 2. But he'll probably be challenging 6 foot 3 players for the ball. He's got 86 stamina, but centre backs don't really need that much stamina anyway, so not that big of an issue to be fair to him. 97 aggression, though. <laughs> now, this is where we're getting a bit saucy. That 97 aggression, is, is, sorry, is, uh, strength is going to be so good. When he's in shoulder, shoulder, uh, shoulder to shoulder uh, chances, he will be bowling off the striker 100%. Now, he's got 90 aggression. Which means that pace, that aggression is going to come together and make this guy super, super fast. Now, today I have linked him up with Van der Sar, Adair Militao, Arthur and Florenzi. I've also got a like, so Kubo, Modric and Jovic in the team. I will be using Kondogbia, obviously, in the centre-back role and playing him in a 4-4-2. You could obviously uh, argue that you can just use this card in a CDM, CDM role, but I want to try him. I want to try him. The reason why he's got, you know, a shapeshifter card in centre-back is to try him at centre-back. So that's where I'm going to be playing him today. But let's get straight into these games. All right, let's give him the ball. Let's see how he feels on the ball. To be fair to you, he doesn't feel too bad. Boys, I'm not going to lie. I aim that to the, to the left-back. Oh, he feels super, super fast. I must admit, the way he moves left to right, I can proper, proper tell that he, you know, he's a centre-back, that's a CDM. This is one thing he can do. He's going to be able to shield off players left, right and centre. Because he's got strength and he is not the smallest of people, he is going to be able to shield players, I would say, six foot and below. Other than that, he's probably going to have issues. Going for a strong tackle, very, very nice. I liked how he followed through, followed through as well. It wasn't just him tackling, he got like... I would say he got stuck in an animation there that he can simply just go through it and get the ball easily. 
Nice. That was really nice and composed there. Just to wait for the perfect chance to obviously do it. I've got a little switch here. Let's try this. On his left foot, perfect switch. Not like the other one where it was straight off kickoff. I gave it to him and somehow, some way, it was aimed for the left back and it went, God knows. So we have got a corner here. He's got decent jumping. He is obviously six foot two. So why not bang it to him near post? Let's see how it goes. I'm going to try to time this one as well. Oh my God. I tried to time it. It didn't really go well. But at the same time, that was a bullet header. Look at the amount of power he's put behind that. Now, I did aim for a corner and it did go down the middle, I must admit. But at the same time, <laughs> the amount of power behind that. Kondogbio on the ball. Little shimmy. Going for the shot. <laughs> Why not? He's got a decent finishing. Obviously, he used to be a CDM. But look at Kondogbia doing the airplane. Look at him. He's very excited. He doesn't score very often, you can clearly see. But I'll tell you what. This little turn. The little dribbling. What a finish. I did not expect that. I'll tell you that. Straight on it. Straight on it. There you go. Nice. Very nice strength there. I saw him use a little bit of strength. That, that ball had to be literally behind the player. Otherwise, it's going to get intercepted. And I love the way Kondogbia really did it. First time hits with him as well. On a two-star weak foot. It's, it's okay. It's not as, actually as bad as I thought. Little switch of play. All the way to the side. Yeah, he can do those passes all day, it looks like. He looks like he's going to be very consistent at, uh, consistent at it. And hopefully he doesn't screw up. All right, this is a real test. Kondogbia, can you win the header? Obviously, you can. It was over Griezmann. Obviously, not the tallest of players. But at the same time, as long as he can win those 50-50s, I'm going to be happy with him. Out to him. Beautiful tackle. I tell you what. I moved. I didn't move him into a CDM role. It looks like a CDM quickly switched with a centre-back. But I tell you what. Playing him in a CDM role <laughs> is not even that bad. In his original position, if you can somehow somehow like kind of put him into a CDM role in your team, I would say why not. We have got another corner here though. Let's see what Kondogbia can do. Last time he did a bullet header. So let's see if he can do it again. Oh my god. Do you know what I love about that? Is that he was committed. The way he was fighting for the ball when he was coming towards him. Personally, I did say to myself, nah, he hasn't got that. He's nowhere near it. But I tell you what, he's won it. He's had a decent shot. Obviously, he was a bit off target. But I liked his commitment on that. Straight in. Nice and strong tackle. One thing I loved there was it looked like he was about to do a falling over animation. Look at that. Even with the little dribbling there. You see how comfortable I felt with him there? The little ball roll I added in. That was just super, super nice. Now, the tackle he did there, he like, he did the tackle like a follow through, but then he instantly got up, reacted, and then instantly, oh, Hazard, are you right? Are you, are you right? Are you right? Are you right? Anyway, Hazard, it was basically, he instantly got up, reacted quick, and went in for another interception, which he did end up getting. So that's always nice to see. Not good. This is a real challenge. There you go. I liked how he, uh, obviously, he tracked the run with his amazing defensive awareness. And just winning the headers over Griezmann all day, which is kind of expected because Griezmann's not the tallest of players, I'll tell you that. One thing I can say is that this Kondogbia feels so much faster than other uh, Kondogbias that I have played with in the past. This guy feels super, super fast. And that's a perfect example. That right there is a perfect example why I tend not to use Adair Militao. Because did you see how bad that pass was? I'm actually going to switch this completely to the other side. And that's something a Demolitao can't do. That Kondogbia can do. Them, them passes across the whole pitch are so, so important for kind of breaking away from your opponent if they are on high pressure. And you need that. Literally, you need that. And a Demolitao couldn't do it and Kondogbia can. If that doesn't say anything, <laughs> I don't know what, that, what does at this point. Little interception. Look at that. Basically, what I did was I baited him into it. So, I acted like I wasn't going to read it so he could pass the ball towards me. And then instantly using Kondogbia's pace just to get in front of the guy and get a great interception. One thing you can obviously do with Kondogbi is on corners, you can just put him near post. And if the cross does come in, you just simply clear it because he is foot two. He will be winning most of the headers. Out straight to him, though. Out straight to him. There you go, Kondogbia. Now we counter. We go. He doesn't expect me running with Kondogbia, I'll tell you that. He's got a stamina. It looks like halfway for halfway stamina now, quarter away. Nice little flick. Round the corner, maybe. Look at Kondogbia on the sticks. Oh, no. Oh, no. Shield off. That's one thing you can do. Use that strength. Beautiful pass. 
Nice, good interception. He was still up from the original run, it looks like. He doesn't really track back fast, I'm not going to lie to you guys. And <laughs> to be fair, it worked. On it, Kondogbia. What a tackle. Oh my god, do you know what? I tell you, I went for a slide tackle, I'm not going to lie. I went for a slide tackle there. I thought to myself, if he gets there first and he does this slide tackle, it's going to be so, so good. He's extended his leg. He said, screw the slide tackle. I'm doing my own animation. And what an animation it was. I tell you what, I can say one thing already. I'm more impressed from this Kondogbia than the Road to the Final Militao. Yeah, it's not my first time. I'm not going to lie. It's not my first time using him. But at the same time, what have they done to him? As, as soon as they removed his pink boots... Apparently Militao has gone to <laughs> has gone to a bit, you know. Straight on to that Kondogbia. Come on, there you go. I love the way he can just sit behind players, wait for them to turn, then you instantly go in and tackle him. The amount of pace that he does it at is ridiculous as well. It doesn't really give your opponent enough time to react to obviously get that attack off. Sorry, get that attack off. Get that pass off. Great interception once again. <laughs> what a ball that is. Not the greatest touch, I must admit, but what a ball from Kondogbia. Nice. What I did there was just bait him into passing it. No, as well, I baited him into like a behind run and then just simply cut the passing lane because that's what you can do with Kondogbia. You can go from one point A to point B in a split second, so you can kind of bait players out. Nice. Honestly, I can see why he would be an amazing CDM. I can see it. The way he gets out to play is so good. He's tackling. He's interceptions. It's all there. He's six foot two. He's got the range. If you guys can fit this guy into a CDM role, definitely do. Nice. I just like to bring him out time to time and just rush at players pretty much with him. Read the player, see what they're going to do, and just simply tackle him. It's so, so easy with him. Little track in there. Great tracking. Unbelievable. Do you see what I mean, though, about him moving left to right without a problem? For example, I'm going to admit, I did get sent, a low-key low got sent a little bit there. But because Kondogbio has, uh, has got that pace, he just caught up with the guy. And it was so, so simple. It's a little bait. Then you're going for the interception. I tell you what, I'm super, super impressed from this Kondogbio card. He is so, so good. Nice. He got super unlucky at the start there. He uh, did a falling over animation, which I was actually quite surprised about. But it's one of those ones that it's going to happen time to time. Because it's just two players bumping into each other. It's unrealistic if it didn't. But at the same time, it was a really, really nice recovery. He did a beautiful standing tackle. So it is time to review him. And let me say, this card is super, super nice. The way he just moves, the way he goes in for the tackle, the way he uses his strength, his passing, his dribbling, everything is so so perfect six foot two is probably the minimum i well six foot one to be fair would be the minimum i would go but six foot two it's in the average zone for me as a center back that is a good good height medium high work rate i personally think medium high is the perfect defensive work rates because they don't really get they don't really get caught off guard if you know what i mean they're always in the right position at the right time which is always nice to see the four star skill moves didn't really do the skill moves with him, but I tell you what, the like the drag back on him it actually feels pretty decently fast, which I was surprised about. The two star weak foot I didn't actually have a problem with, which I was surprised about. Now pace wise, unbelievable, and I do believe that 90 aggression on the other side does help as well with that pace. But I tell you what, he is one of the fastest centre backs I have used, hands down. Now, finishing-wise, I actually did get a chance to shoot with him, and he actually did score it a little shimmy to the left, used his uh, stronger foot, and he buried it, I must say. It's a pretty decent shot. Nice accuracy, nice shot power, hit post and in. No chance to keep on saving it. Not bad, not bad. Passing-wise, really, really good, to be fair. The way he can switch a ball from one side to the other. I was using a Dare Militao uh, next to him, and you can really see the difference between someone, a centre-back that can pass and a centre-back that can't pass. A.K.A. a Dare Militao being the person that can't pass, if you know what I mean. Ball control, dribbling. Actually, pretty decent a ball. He didn't feel too clunky. I actually was, you know, doing a few ball rolls past players time to time when I was in tight situations, which is always nice to see. Interceptions, unbelievable. Defensive awareness, unbelievable. Standing tackle, unbelievable. Slide tackle, crazy, crazy good. His defensive stats are so good. The way he just puts in the tackle, the way he just... He's committed, if you know what I mean. 
Now, jumping wise, he did win a headers off the corners, and I tell you what. It was a powerful header. It wasn't one of those weak ones. It was a proper, proper bullet, which has surprised me quite a lot. Now, the stamina-wise, 86 stamina up and... No, I said up and down the pitch. In a centre-back role, you're not going to need it. But if you're thinking of playing this guy in a CDM role, then, yeah, you obviously do. But at the same time, 86 stamina is more than enough. Strength-wise, really, really strong. Really strong. Like, the guy was bodying players left, right and centre, and that is unbelievable to see. Aggression, as I said, helps with the pace. So a lot adds on your eye. Sorry about that. But I have to give this card a rating out of 10. I'm going to give him a 10 out of 10. He was super, super good. And he is one of the best centre-backs I have played with in this game. Especially him being six foot two, He's the one, 100%. If you guys can pick this guy up, please go pick this guy up. Because you won't be disappointed. Trust me on that. But if you guys did enjoy this play review, leave a like, leave a comment, and for now, peace.